Hi folks, thank you for tuning in to the Believe It Show, where believe it, if I can get through this day with a big smile on my face and true personal independence in my sights, well, believe it, so can you. Today is Tuesday, August 13th, 2019. I am broadcasting from the south side of Jacksonville in Deerwood Place. Just a little bit of sexy. And I am looking at you laying in that hospital bed. Let me ask you, how you doing? Well, I'm glad to hear that you're having a good day. I am too. Did you do some walking today? Did you do your exercises? Did you do some marching? Awesome. Well, I got to tell you, man, I am very pleased with your progress. Today, I want to talk about something that we all need to have, and that's hope. To have hope and faith. Faith is more important. To have faith in God, which that's what I have. And it's building. It's getting bigger and better and, and stronger. And before, it was just in me. I had faith in myself and other people. You know, I always said faith in other people. And you know what? You can't count on other people. you got to count on yourself and God. God, though God's going to get you through the things that you need to get through. If you give your worries to Him and pray for everything you need and make sure to thank God for everything you have, then it's all taken care of. Pretty simple, right? Okay, well, well today my sister came in from Orlando to, to visit me. I want to give a shout out to a couple of people today. First, I want to give a shout out to my nephew, Jacob Hardy. Congratulations, my man. The medical field just landed a major player in that industry. And that man is Jacob Hardy. He graduated college and he starts work at ORMC at the end of this month. Jacob, good job, man. Way to go. Very happy for you. You deserve it. You deserve it. And it's always good to see you, my friend. I hope you have a good time tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of the time you have off. And I just can't wait to hear um, the strides you make in that business, in that industry. Again, I'm so happy for you. And just know that I love you and will be with you all the way and praying for you. Good job, Jacob. Another person I want to give a shout out to is right here in this building, or she's in a building that's connected to this building called Regent Park. <coughs> this is Melissa Roberts. She is the the physical therapy doctor, and she is in the other building. I've been talking to this person since I got here about. Oh, over two months ago. And trying to get physical therapy. And we just haven't been able to get it. So I gave up, you know. I just started doing my own physical therapy. Heck, I haven't had it in almost six months. And I'm pretty good at, at uh, working out and getting my own thing going. And, and you know, God is going to make sure that I get to where I need to be. And that is walking on my own and back to normal, an independent lifestyle. But today, I was walking with my nephew, and there is a hallway that connects the two buildings. I was taking him down the hallway to go to the other side so I could introduce him to this physical therapist, this doctor, Dr. Roberts. Just wanted to know, she's a very nice person, and she really wanted me to, to start over there, but she just couldn't get my insurance to give her the okay. So we were at a standstill, and I usually don't go over there. 
But just today I decided, what the heck, I'm going to go over there. We're walking over there. I'm talking to Jacob, and I'm telling him about the two different uh, places, Deerwood Place and Regent Park. They're different there. And, and, and I wasn't paying attention, and we came upon a threshold, and I stopped my walker, and I lost my balance backwards. I mean, I'm like, <laughs> I could feel it happening. And he, he, he could see the panic in his eye. <laughs> He's trying to catch me, you know. But I fell, man. I went and fell, pow, right on my butt. And there was a guy, Travis, who I want to give a shout out to Travis as well. Thank you, sir. You're a very incredible young man. I appreciate you. He came to my aid right away. He like, get up and sit, sit up. Don't get up, you know. I'm trying to get up first. He goes, no, stay down. Just sit up. So he got me to sit up. And then he and Jacob got me up on my feet. And, you know, he's like talking to me. Okay, you all right? Are you sure you're okay? And, man, I feel right in my butt. But I was, <laughs> I was okay. And, you know, other, other um, people were coming out. This lady came in to help me. I can't remember her name now. But then the lady that I worked with, in physical therapy, the administrator there, her name's Sam, and she came out of UK, you know, I go, yeah. Well, before I knew it, pow, they were able to get me six weeks of sessions with physical therapy through um, Regent Park, three times a week. My insurance is going to pay for it. Done deal. And Melissa came over and worked with me one time. I mean, I am beside myself with wow, how that went. It was just, you know, God works in mysterious ways. They say, my Lord, I, I've i got the bum that laid the golden egg, that's for sure. <laughs> well, well, I'll tell you what, I am just so grateful, so blessed. You know, I need to spend some time with the one above, because without him, I wouldn't be here, I'll tell you this. There's no doubt about that. <laughs> but how cool was that, man? She came over and worked with me, and then, you know, I started, she told me she just started in this business. So I said, do you know Brian Erickson? She goes, yes, I know Brian Erickson. She, she goes, I, I was um, in his physical therapy class. I said, really, that's my uh, future nephew and, and Sammy. She was Sammy, my niece. And it's like, wow, what a small world. What great connections we just made. So, man, I appreciate you. Thank you, Melissa. And Brian, how about that? When, and, and funny how things work out. Well, anyway, but back to the show. Um, she gave me some exercises that I'm going to do, um, like some sit to stands without using your hands to push up. You just off the chair and stand up. Also, holding your show, your feet up like that is one exercise that she told me to do. Marching. Marching is another one. You're doing knees like that while you're in the walker. And, um, and when you're sitting, wait, 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 wait. Uh, I can't remember. Oh yeah, she's gonna give me this pad. It's like a foam pad, and I walk on that and try to stand up and bounce. She had me doing stuff with my feet together, standing up, and my hands on my side. And she told me, look to my right, and look to my left, look to the ceiling, look to the floor, and man, my head was spinning. You know, this condition is neurological, so it affects your brain. Your brain doesn't work right all the time, and, and she did an evaluation on me. But anyway, I'm going to be working with her in the next few weeks, so 
you're going to see a tremendous um, improvement on my progress. And I couldn't be happier right now. I'm just beside myself. So with that said, I'm going to sign off. And, and, and uh, I just want you to know that you all mean so much to me. If I can reach just one person, one person out there, and have a positive influence on their life, I am a success. With that said, if you have any questions, please email me at BillLevitt1962 at gmail.com. You have a great evening and believe it. If I can get through this day with a big smile on my face and true personal independence in my grasp, well, believe it, so can you. Have a good night, folks. I'll talk to you later. God bless you.